Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jortson. I'm Mike Gamble, or excuse me, Dalton Good. <laughs> and I'm Nick Kinzel. And we still got our good buddy Tyler on with us. How you doing, brother? Pretty good, man. How you guys doing? Doing good. Are you ready my for... last name. <laughs> All <laughs> right, guys. We're getting ready for Kinzel's classroom. Professor, take it away. Uh, saddle up, boys. Class is back in session. Welcome to another edition of the Kinzel's Classroom here on the Stock Car Spectacle. Uh, it's nice to have Tyler joining us this week. Uh, so for those of you who do not know anything about the show, this is your first time tuning in. What I, my job is, I've got drivers on my on my list here, and it's up to my fellow students right here to give them the grade, and I'm going to see if I agree or disagree with them. So this is the Las Vegas edition, and for my first one, uh, I'm actually going to do a whole team here, and I am going to have to throw old Stuart Haas racing under the bus here. Uh, they ran like crap uh, here at Vegas. Eric Almarola finished 38th. That is his third finish of 30th or worse in uh, this season so far. Cole Custer brought home a stellar 25th place finish. Uh, Kevin Harvick... He brought home a 20th place finish after starting on the pole. And then Chase Briscoe, the rookie, brought it home 21st. So they didn't even have a single car in the top 15. <sighs> Last week for Homestead, I grilled Team Penske for not having a car in the top 15. This week, I got to do it to Stuart Haas Racing. Ian, that's your boy, Kevin Harvick and all of them. Stuart Haas Racing, what do you got for him? I, I think we got to give them an F, a big fat F. They were just way off with the setups this weekend at Vegas. We saw it immediately with Kevin Harvick when he just dropped like a rock. You know, he was uh, he was on the pole for the race and immediately just dropped back and, you know, ended up going a lap down by the end of the race. Uh, the whole rest of the team just did a terrible, terrible job. And usually Stewart House Racing excels at these kind of tracks at the 1.5s. So definitely a big fat F minus for this yeah, team. I have to agree with you there. I'd say minus Kevin Harvick. Those it's it's same old Stuart Oz racing, man. Harvick's the only one who can run well. The other three cars have not done shit so far. I know it's still very early on in the season, and no practice and qualifying does not help, but gotta give the SHR boys a big fat stinking F. So those four are gonna see me after class. Next guy on my list. I talked about him last week, and he backed it up with another solid finish. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., driver of the 47, brought it home P11. Uh, I'd have to say him both, him and Ryan Priest both have been doing some uh, pretty good things this season. They're both just consistently running inside that top 15. Ryan Priest right now is in a playoff position, actually, but he does not have enough horsepower. He does not have enough – he has enough horsepower, but he does not have – enough sponsorship to run a full season. Uh, so he, if he keeps this up, I think they got to say like, Hey, we got to give this guy the funding because he could potentially be a playoff team. But yeah, back to Stenhouse. He backed it up with another good run. Tyler, great scale. A to F Ricky Stenhouse jr. I will just say JTG Doherty racing. They backed it up with the finishes of 11th and 15th. Uh, I'd probably give him like a, I don't know. I want to say C plus. I mean, He's talented, but he always seems to find himself in trouble um, or wrecking other people. If he would just, you know, not drive so <laughs> dirty, he might be better off. But, yeah, I think I would just give him a C plus. That's, that's fair. I, I'd go from the from the C plus range, maybe B minus, because this is JTG Doherty Racing. They, they don't have the best equipment out there, but to see those guys running out there, it's nice to see. I I'm, will be curious to see what happens, though. With Ryan Priest, if he continues to run like he runs, what are they going to do? Because they don't have the funding to run a full season. So that will definitely be interesting to see. All right, next guy on my list, who I'm also very disappointed with this season so far, is that 42 car of Ross Chastain. This is his first year in the 42. He's taken over for Matt Kenseth last year. Uh, and he has not had a good run of it so far this season. Despite finishing seven in the Daytona 500, he the, the next three races, he's had finishes of 39th, 17th, and 23rd. Uh, it just doesn't seem like that 42 car has much speed right now. Dalton Good, Ross Chastain in the 42 car, what do you got for him? 
Uh, I'd probably give that an F too. Uh, but I don't know if it's the driver or the team. Like that team has just been struggling for such a long time. Uh, Kyle Larson really didn't have that much speed back in the 42 day. I mean, the last time the 42 car was fast and Kyle Larson was driving, it was uh, 2014, his rookie season. Uh, that was the last time that I think that 42 team was pretty good. Or no, no, excuse me, 2017 when Kyle Larson won uh, four races that year. That was probably the last time that 42 team was fast. Uh, ever since then, uh, it, it don't matter who they put in. Like, that team just struggles. Uh, of course, Matt Kenseth last year, I mean, I didn't expect anything. I, I figured it was a 30, 30th place finish in points anyway. Uh, but I thought it, they'd be better with uh, Ross Chastain. But uh, it started to look like Matt Kenseth is still driving that car, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I just have a hard time it, finding out if it's the driver or the team. I still don't believe it's a team, but regardless, uh, not doing well at all, uh, not not doing any better. So I got to give that an F also. Yeah, I have to tend to agree there. I will, I'm a little disappointed because I thought Ross was going to be the guy. I said it for years now, once he gets his shot, I thought he was going to be taking over for Kurt Busch a couple years ago because I thought Kurt Busch was going to retire from the one car. But here he is. This is his best opportunity he's had. So far, not making up the most, making the most of it. Uh, but still very early in the season, they got time to adjust. But Ross Chastain, big old fat stinking F, see me after class. And then we're, we're going to end on this guy right here. Uh, what a run for the 43 car of Eric Jones. Well, I, he, he brought that car home in the top 10. He finished 10th. Uh, I don't think anybody this season uh, – I mean, Eric's had some pretty okay runs, I'd say. He um, he looked really good in the class. He, he looked okay in the road course. He looked good in the 500. Uh, and then he looked great here. I mean, 10th place for that 43 car without a lot of funding. Uh, we're, we're going to go around where everybody's going to get their, their share in this. Uh, yeah. Eric Jones, 43 car P10 finished. What do you guys got to say about that for this team, given the circumstances that they're in and what we thought we'd see on Eric Jones. I think you got to give them an a plus, you know, it's a, you know, a new driver with the team, uh, new driver with the team. Now, uh, you know, they're still getting adjusted. You know, they're not getting any qualifying practice sessions, a uh, little bit of a bumpy start to the season, but bringing home P10 at a tough track like Las Vegas uh, for this, you know, team, they don't have a lot of money right now with all the sponsors that they lost from, you know, they transitioned over with 2311 racing with Bubba Wallace, but yeah, definitely got to give them, I'd say a plus for their effort. I mean, th that's a big one right there for them. Yeah, I'll give him an A plus too. I mean, it's kind of impressive that he's with a new team, uh, fourth race into the season, um, no practice, no qualifying, and he can put like a fifteenth to twentieth place car, I think, in the top ten. So yeah, I'll give him an A plus. Yeah, I would probably give him an A minus. Uh, I, I'm not really hyped on. I'm not gonna get hyped on Eric Jones and that team just yet. Um, I just I just want to see what 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 they're made of. Like, well. I always knew Eric Jones had talent. I mean, he's a pretty good race car driver, but of course, you know, that, it's just that team. It's just so underfunded. They're got a lot of troubles going on and they just can't, can't find any speed, but um, I'm not, I'm not really going to get on the hype train for that team yet because uh, just because the way the season's gone, uh, Daytona, of course, it got taken out on lap 15. Yeah. Uh, the Daytona road course, Eric Jones is not really a good road course racer. Oh, he finished, he finished 14th on the road course. Oh, 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 he did. Oh, yeah. I, thought it was, I thought it was worse than that because I thought he blew a tire, but... Um, oh, yeah, 14th. Oh, uh, okay, well... All right. And then 27th at Homestead and then 10th here. So, I mean, for kind what... Of a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster for him, but... Yeah. Uh, I, my, yeah, go ahead. My, my, my mistake about the Daytona World Course, I, I thought he finished 20th because I thought he had trouble. But, but anyway, um, yeah, it's just kind of been an up and down season for Eric Jones. Uh, I didn't think he would that team would be good this year. Uh, I thought <clears throat> Bubba Wallace in that 23-11 uh, race team would outrun Eric Jones every single week. Uh, but that wasn't the case this week. Uh, so that is pretty impressive. But, uh, yeah, I, I got to give Eric Jones and Rich Petty Motorsports today plus for this week. Uh, rest of the season, we'll see how it goes.
Yeah, I agree. He definitely deserves the A for this week. Uh, it's definitely the goal for that 2311 racing team. It's got to be to outrun the 43. Otherwise, why would Bubba Wallace take a, a position like that? But still very early in the season. So uh, I expect that 2311 team to start running better. And hopefully this 43 team can, can keep it up because I feel bad for Eric that he has to be in this kind of situation uh, driving for a team like this. But uh, we'll see what happens. So, some decent runs to start off the year for him. We'll just have to see if he builds on that. So if you boys don't have anything else to say, Stuart Ass Racing Boys and uh, Mr. Ross Chastain, come see me after class. Other than that, class dismissed. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Stock Car Spectacle. Of course, I'd like to thank Dalton Good for subbing in for Mike Gamble this week. And of course, our buddy Tyler for coming in and joining the classroom. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming in on the show. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Uh, really hate Mike couldn't be here, but uh, thanks for having me on again. I, I'm the Reed Smith of this uh, podcast, am I? The super sub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got to say that I'm just happy to be hanging out with the GOAT, Dalton Good himself. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah right. glad, glad, glad we finally got to meet. I've I've been uh, I've recruited uh, Tyler into uh, Ratty Nation and uh, to talk to him finally. Really good to see. We are going to be in Nashville uh, this year, so I uh, can't wait to meet you, up, buddy. Uh, thanks for being on, man. How, how fun is it being on a podcast? With is this your first podcast? Uh, yeah. If you oh. couldn't tell how nervous I was the whole time. <laughs> I, I, you don't have to sweat it all. I, I'm used to this now. You get used to it after a while. Dude, yeah, you just got you. You just got to lay back, have a good time. Like I remember last season, I I freaking opened the bottle of Jack Daniels on the show. It was a good time. Yeah, <laughs> same like a buy Chicago land. We we just chill. We just chill, crack open a beer. And it's a fun time. It's really just talking racing with the boys oh. on this show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I come back again, I'll be uh, a lot less nervous of course but i mean we'd love to have you back on it all come back anytime man you just give me the word definitely but we got to make sure that uh we gotta we should get austin on this show too man yeah that's what i was thinking that's yeah. who i was thinking of talking to next so uh Austin, if you're watching this we'd love to have you on as a guest for sometime during the season all right, so make sure you guys follow Tyler and Dalton on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when we upload new content. Make sure to check out our merchandise on Spreadshirt.com, all designed by Dalton Good himself. So make sure to check that out. We'll have the link below in the description. Make sure to follow me, Nick, and Mike on Twitter, along with the Stock Car Spectacle account for weekly updates about the show. Uh, make sure to tune in to Kodo's Mojo with me, Adam Cornwell, and Patrick Kodo as we give you weekly sports updates. You can find that on all podcast platforms. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Ian Jordson. I'm Dalton Good, not Mike Gamble. <laughs> no, I'm Nixon. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a great week.